So, welcome back. We are here looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, uh, February 16th, 2021. So, there was not a lot of action in the market today due to the fact that the stock market is basically closed. There was movement in the indices. They did rise um, a bit, um, 0 0.3, 0 0.25, give or take. That's where most of the major indices were, except for the U, uh, the U, uh, UK 100, um, which you should, probably should have hold on but on last Friday when I basically sold it. So that was a bummer. But if we look at the commodities market and the precious metal market, we have had major movement. We have had a lot of volatility in the cryptocurrency market, uh, but also in the in the, um, in the commodities there has also been movement. But we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have just, it basically continues falling towards the bottom of the Bollinger Band. So that will probably run into a lot of support around 89.85. And if we were to go lower from there, we'll test these previous lows at 89.15. So we are, the technical indicators are looking very uh, dreadful for the US dollar index. This is, uh, major momentum for stocks, commodities, and precious metals. And they usually tend to go opposite direction to the US dollar. Uh, US dollar, and when this falls, everything else increases, as you can basically see in oil today, in platinum today, and so on. And that is usually the case. So pay attention to what happens to the US dollar. It is a very leading indicator, but it's not 100%. So just keep that in mind. So let's look at oil. So we did rally all the way up to 60.72. So at the moment, ridiculous levels, to be fairly honest. Um, we are set for a pullback. When that happens, I was expecting it to happen at 60, but... I did not enter this market because there was no end in sight for this rally. If you just look at these technical indicators, we are in the daily chart. We're still at 81 in the RSI for, for oil in a period where we're basically having a recession around the world recession and so on. We are basically significantly overbought in oil, which doesn't make any sense whatsoever. So what is fueling this pro at the moment? Um, probably a lot of things. US dollar is certainly one of those. Um, supply cuts is probably one of those and so on. But this is a fairly negative candlestick. So if we get a red candlestick here tomorrow, then that is a, a fairly good indication that we will most likely go towards the 20 exponential and expect the 20 exponential to be massive support as we have basically bounce off the 20 exponential the last three times. So so, but at the moment, it is untradeable. There's no reason to, to start shorting an um, uptrend like this one because it can turn at any point. So, pullbacks are the way to go. So, let's look at natural gas. So, natural gas it did, um, it did jump and then it rallied and then broke down. So, it looks like we are in a fairly good uptrend here. We're very close to $3, but uh, whether or not we manage to break through $3, that is going to be the case. Very going to be the question. We have been uh, testing $3 for a very long time. If we put uh, around $3 here, we can see that it has also back in the past been a significant uh, level to get through, and we have been rejected, for example, here. It went basically bust so we may fall towards the 200 moving average at any point but if we break the uh, three dollar range then we could go and head towards 3.5 anyways i'm just staying far away from this market because in the point uh, the way it has been behaving in the, in the recent weeks is just complete gambling technical indicators they are still bullish so if we break the three dollar range we could head towards uh, 3.25 3.5 so let's look at copper 
So copper went on a massive rally. We're trading at 3.825. At the point we are overbought here in the RSI. We are outside of the bullish band. We have been for the last five days. And usually at that point should be warning signs. Things that are that often that for this amount of period outside of the bullish band, you can get a very sudden drop towards the 20 exponential moving average. So what we're basically looking for here is a move like this one, where we're outside, basically drop towards the 20 exponential, and that if it finds support there, then that is some uh, opportunity to basically enter this market um, with a stop loss underneath. Technical indicators, they are still very bullish, so this could continue uh, higher. So 3.9 is our next target for copper. It has been on a massive rally here, and it will most likely continue rallying uh, for the foreseeable future. It has been an absolutely amazing ride for copper from 1.97 all the way up to 3.825. So amazing run. So let's look at uh, gold. So you could not say the same for gold. It is in a downtrend. You can get rid of this. We can see that we have the highs up here and uh, we uh, actually have the lows or the channel like something like this so at the moment we're basically right in this channel so these are the very highs of the channel these are the very lows but we have the 20 exponential the 50 and the 200 moving average right above acting as as, um, as resistant and not support and that is not a good sign if we break 1800 we'll most likely go to these previous lows at 1783 and then to 1750 and then probably all the way down to 1700 it, we could see choppiness going downwards for the foreseeable future. So we may see rallies similar to this. It just doesn't mean that we're going to trend upwards. At the moment, it is very clearly that we are trending downwards and not upwards. So at the moment, rallies up towards the 50 and rejections there are selling opportunities. And uh, yes, let's look at silver. So as you can see, the 20 and the 50 moving average are the major support levels when we drop to the 50 drop to the 20 that is where uh, opportunities are to buy with a stop loss underneath technical indicators are looking fairly bullish for silver at this point we're trading at 27.57 at the moment i think that we're going to slowly grind up to 30 dollars uh, and be, uh, if we break that then we'll go to 35 and then probably to 40. so let's look at platinum So platinum is the new gold. That was what most people were saying in the markets today. And uh, considering how platinum is, is um, behaving compared to gold, then yes, that is probably very right because this is going absolutely parabolical. And uh, we are at the moment at uh, red alert because we are way outside of the Bollinger Band. The RSI is 77. We're significantly overbought. Technical indicators, anyways, are very bullish in the daily chart. We can look at the four-hour chart if they look anything different. Yes, they do. It looks like we are running into resistance here and going flat, but it does not mean that we have to go drop down all of a sudden. We could also go just sideways here until we get the 20 exponential going this way and then could rally higher. But pullbacks towards the 20 exponential at this point, they should be uh, buying opportunities. But it is not a good idea to enter this market whatsoever at this point it is very parabolical and you just see the distance between this and the 20 and what it has been doing in the recent days so yes it is very 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 bullish so let's look at pallium so as you can see we can get rid of this uh, we are trading in this square of uh, 2.5 and uh, 2.2 and uh, the way to trade this or the, with the less risk is to trade it at the top or trade it at the bottom. To trade it in the middle is, uh, is very risky and almost pure gambling. So up here, if it doesn't break, if it turns around, then it is a selling opportunity. If it goes down towards the 0.2 level and it turns around, 
it is a buying opportunity. So it just goes up and down. And at the moment, we are targeting most likely uh, 2.5 at this point. So let's look at uh, aluminium. So at this point, we it looks like we are running into resistant again at these highs. So it's just above these previous highs here, but we are around the same level. So it could maybe that we just overbought here, but it looks like we are about to turn around yet again. We are technically trending uh, in a square as well. So we can take these highs and these lows, and it looks like that that's how this market is basically behaving, that we are going sideways within this square. If we break above here, then 2.1 is the target. After that, 2.2, and then even higher. Technical indicators are turning around. We are on the edge of being all bought, so just keep that in mind. So let's look at nickel. So as you can see, we have bounced from the 20 exponential and the 50 moving average for a very long time now. And at the moment, we are fairly overstretched. This is a fairly negative candlestick, so we could drop towards the 20 exponential again or the 50. And both of those should be uh, buying opportunities uh, if they basically turn around. Technical indicators are, well, they're kind of all over the place. The, the RSI is flat on the edge of being our bot. CCI is, uh, is bullish, the stochastic is, barrier, is flat, and the MACD is bullish at this point. But still, back, still pullbacks similar to these, that is um, how this market is behaving, and uh, that is the best way to trade this market at this point. So let's look at sugar. So we have started falling. We ran into major support here, uh, resistant here at 0.17. Now we're trading at 0 0.1632 and we're just about the 20 exponential moving average. Um, it has been fairly supportive in the past, but the 50 is basically where the action is. It, if it gets down to 50, then that is where um, there are very good buying opportunities uh, occur. 20, for example, here as well is possible, but more risky. Technical indicators, they are turning very negative, so we could see this fall even further. So let's look at cotton. So as you can see, we did rally today, we did break down and then rally, and then we went basically to the very high here, 0 0.8703. Uh, technical indicators are flat or bullish at this point, so we are getting fairly overstretched. You can look at the bullish band, for example, and we are on the edge or a bit right outside of the bullish band. So we have been here for several days. This is actually a day seven where we're basically outside of the bullish band. And um, yes, we could be looking at a move similar to this one where we go sideways and then down. So if this starts losing momentum, then you, it could break down towards the 20 exponential and even the 50 moving average. Otherwise, at the moment, it is way, way too risky in order to buy this at this point. You need to basically pull back. So let's look at Koa. So we are still, we tried to rally above the 200 moving average and then break down and then broke down. And now we're trading just underneath the 200 moving average. Technical indicators, they look like they're turning around. They are still bearish or flat. So if we manage to break about the 200 moving average, then we'll head to 20 exponential and the 50. Otherwise, just stay far, far, far away from this. This is just way, way too risky to trade this. It has a very highs of 2.8 and the very lows of 2.231. And right now we're basically right in the middle and it's just been going everywhere. There's no real structure in this uh, price action. So um, that's why I don't trade it at all. So let's look at weed. So market wasn't open day at all. So, so we're trading right here at the, the 50 moving average, just above that. And um, at the moment, it looks like we are going to rally to the upside. Um, you look at technical indicators, the CCI is bullish, the stochastic is bullish, the, RSI, the MACD is bearish, and the RSI is flat. Um, 50 moving average, we have been here for quite some time, tested it several times now, and usually what happens after that, it rallies to the upside. Um, otherwise, 
stop loss right underneath because it can get really ugly if the 50 moving average breaks and starts trending underneath like it did back here. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to write to me on Patreon if you have any questions. Otherwise, good luck and thank you. Thank you.